Tonight, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser putting her signature on a rewrite of the district's sexual harassment policy. It comes on the heels of Bowser's former deputy mayor and closest advisor, John Falchicchio, being accused of multiple sex acts of sexual harassment. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald live at the Wilson Building. A lot to unpack here. What are the changes, Fitz? Well, the mayor says that this new order is, in her words, going to send a message that D.C. government does not and will not tolerate any form of sexual harassment. But this document comes seven months now after Bowser's closest advisor was credibly accused of sexually harassing women while he was in power inside the Wilson building. Among the recommendations on this 24-page document includes now a ban on all sexual and romantic relationships between supervisors and their employees in a chain of command. It goes on to require that all district government employees not only affirm these anti-harassment policies, but also attend yearly training to make sure they know what it means. The mayor today indicated she, she believes her original 2017 sexual harassment policy, in her words, worked because she indicated it revealed the scandal in her very own office. In the 2017 um, mayor's order, we indicated that a um, policy around um, dating uh, in the government in the chain of command would be addressed, uh, and this mayor's order uh, addresses that. Now, keep in mind, John Falchicchia was not just the deputy mayor. When the sexual allegations against him were revealed back in March, Falchicchia was Bowser's most trusted and most closest advisor. She had him report directly to her. And as a result, one of the changes in this document today is about direct reports to the mayor. Anybody who directly reports to the mayor from now on, if there's an allegation of sexual harassment against them, that investigation now goes directly to an outside investigation. The mayor talked about that today. There have been actions on the government's part uh, and the policy worked. Uh, what we've also learned uh, in these intervening months is um, that it could be strengthened and made clearer, uh, and that's what you will see uh, in the updated mayor's order. Okay, so a bit of a timeline now on all of this. This order is scheduled to go into effect on November 10th. Anyone who was involved in a romantic or sexual relationship in the chain of command in D.C. government right now has to reveal that to district officials by December 8th. There's also been a sexual harassment task force created as of today. That is going to be in charge of not only implementing these policies, but making sure that all district employees understand them. We're live at the Wilson Building tonight. Send it back into you. All right,